guys, so today I thought I would do a product review, one that I showed you in a haul, and I think maybe in my March favorites? I don't know. So I'm going to retry this again with you guys, and then a new product that I picked up at Ulta, and that's the Simple Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I love eye remover type things, so I'm always looking for something that's very gentle on my eyes. And then this is the new Simple Sensitive Skin Radiance Cleansing Wipes. So I have quite a bit of makeup on. I would like to think that you guys don't know that I do, but let's just roll with you guys don't know I have a lot of makeup on, but I do. So let's get started. I have eye makeup on and I have this makeup on. So we're going to try this out and I'm going to just give you a first impression so first of all, it's these little cleansing wipes, and this is, I'm going to use on my face, and it has a texture to it, which usually scares the crap out of me because it means it's going to be really harsh, but actually, it's quite nice on the face, and if, any, if you, anyone knows me, I'm very weird about my face. I like to take very good care of it, and... I don't generally like to smear my eye makeup all over my face, so that's a separate thing to me. I am, however, going to just slide this right across my lips, which I seem to know I have no problem with, but hey, I didn't say it made sense. So, I usually, I do tend to like stick to clean areas and not redistribute my makeup over the rest of it. This is what I'm getting right now. This is doing a really good job. And my face is not bright red. It's a little bit red around these areas, but that's because it's sensitive and I have a few breakouts because I wasn't taking care of my skin. Um, I generally go like this and I smush it all together because usually like the sides or the ends I don't use and then I use it a bit on my forehead but I am going to take another one out. Yeah, these are working really well. I really like these. They're very gentle. They're very soft and I just think they're a great product. They're from the drugstore. I mean, I got this this specific pack from Ulta, but I, the first pack I got was from Walgreens. So I'm just going to go over the areas that I already went over first. Just get those nice and clean. And then I'm going to do my neck area because you never want to forget your neck area when you're putting makeup on. And then I'm going to see how much, I mean, it's doing a really great job. I got crazy Abriel stuff going on. And I'm just doing my lid. I don't want to be taking, what a lot of people do is take this and they'll wipe like this. I don't like to do that. Even though I'm going to wash my face after this with a cleanser and all that good stuff, I just don't like to risk taking all that eye makeup or any makeup and just dragging it all over my face. Okay, so it's soft enough to, to do around the um, face area, which is generally not typical for me. I generally can't um, just take stuff and put it near my eyes. I don't know why that was so hard to say. So I would give this thing two thumbs up. It did a great job. Even on my second swipe. I'm sorry if this is really gross to you, but I love seeing what's left over and how much it actually takes off. Because I've gotten ones before where I like I'm like scrubbing at my face and then I take it off and I'm like well, there's absolutely nothing on it. Like, literally nothing on it. And they cost three times the amount of this. So let's give these things a try. Because that's what I'm really anxious to try. Because I have not tried these yet. Again, these are the... Um, they have vitamins in them. There's no alcohol and no oil. No oil. I'm very interested to see if these work. Oh. 
Okay. So they're just these round little pads. They have a texture on them. What I tend to do is I also, my OCD comes into fact in here, and I also use separate removers for each eye because I've never had pink eye, but this is my thinking. If I ever did get pink eye, there's some people that get it in both eyes, and I'm always thinking, like, how did they get that in that other eye? And I think I just in my head think that I'm going to take germs from here and stick them over on this eye. I don't know. I think it's probably a good practice. It's like one of those parts of my weird thinking that I'm okay with. But I, what I'm doing is just kind of setting it on the eye with my eyes shut and letting it kind of just sink some of whatever is in this. I don't actually know if there's not any oil. Now, okay, so I'm going to be a little bit honest here and say that they are a little bit rough for my tastes. Um, yeah. You can probably see my eye area is getting pretty red. These face ones are much softer, which doesn't really make sense to me other than I guess people want it a little more firm to get like mascara or like waterproof stuff off. But since I don't ever use like waterproof makeup, kind of hurts to me. I generally use something like this. This is just like the Sephora cheapest. Um, what's my favorite one? I really like the MAC one. I think Clinique is my favorite one. Um, it's just expensive. So I try, I use this and then you use it on like little pads, like little cotton pads and they're nice and soft. So I don't know. I don't think I'll be repurchasing these, but if you don't have a super sensitive eye area, which I kind of feel like everybody does. I don't know. That's just, I just really, I, I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. <laughs> when I don't like it, I just don't like it. Yeah, I'm not digging it. It just feels a little too harsh for me. So, I'll use these up. But I'm not going to be repurchasing these. So we got we got a 50-50 split here. Yeah, that's just too red in my eye area. You're pro I don't care how freaking sensitive your face is. You should not be getting red under your eyes. People are always say, like, saying that. And I'm like, no, you just are not using the right products. And I don't feel like it got all of the gunk off, but it just seems like they're not working anymore. But it did take off my mascara for the most part, but I do still feel like there's underneath. And I just don't want to go keep going in there with these because they kind of hurt. Mm. So these yucky ones, yes. These ones, no. So I give that one, I give that one actually a thumbs up and a thumbs down because it did the job. But maybe my under eye area, because I do have a very sensitive under eye area and actually above. I have very dry skin there, so it might just be me. So for the drugstore, simple brand, Radiance Wipe Cleansing Wipes, the new ones. I give these two thumbs up. And for the eye makeup remover pads, kind to eyes, sensitive skin, I give it one thumbs up. I will, re I will be repurchasing this. I already have. This was the brand spanking new one. But I, I mean, I'm not, I have one for over here and one for in my bathroom. And these I will not be repurchasing. I will just stick to my cotton balls and, or whatever those things are called, like the swishers and um, just whatever cheapest. Or if I feel like springing for makeup remover, eye makeup remover. That would be great. So I hope you guys like this look type of video. If this is helpful at all. I have tend to have a hard time finding dupes for things. As you guys know, make makeup make makeup. Mac makeup removers are absolutely above all the best I have ever used. They feel make your skin feel so nice. They're so nourishing. They're so sensitive and soft. So 
I thought I would find you guys a dupe because those act those are quite expensive so I am pleasantly surprised that these simple ones work great I will probably be replacing my Mac ones with these because even though I love my Mac ones they're just so much cheaper so I hope you guys like this type of video if you do please leave a comment down below letting me know that you like me to kind of review them or actually if you just leave a comment down below letting me know what type of videos you like that I do either it be a daily vlog or a topical um, discussion or answering a question or a tutorial or whatever my hauls things like that let me know and I would love to do more of those and I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And as always, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!